a more now on Hong Kong's leadership race. Reports say Beijing is only backing one candidate to run for the top job, and that's the city's number two official, John Lee. Wei Su is speaking to Professor Ho Lok Sang in Hong Kong. Now, Professor Ho, Mr Lee has said he will start planning for this election once his resignation is approved by the central government in, of course, in Beijing. Is there any chance the central government might reject his resignation or in any way uh, introduce an, another candidate at this point to run in this election? I think uh, all the signs uh, uh, show that Beijing has uh, this uh, favourite candidate. And I uh, doesn't, uh, there's an, there isn't any signal that there is going to be another candidate that Beijing is going to consider. So th this is a situation as it stands today. All right. Uh, clearly then, uh, Mr. Lee has Beijing support. And we've heard from uh, the incumbent uh, chief executive, Carrie Lam, early this week. She said the most important attribute for any CE in Hong Kong is to have dual accountability for the people in Hong Kong and also to the people, the central right. government in Beijing. Now, given that this is so important, this kind of one person race is this the best way to put a new leader in Hong Kong that the people in Hong Kong will be happy with? Yeah, um, I can understand that. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, from my personal point of view, you know, it would have been much, much better if the political reform package that the government and Beijing endorsed, you know, uh, the government proposed and, and Beijing had endorsed it, and that was in uh, uh, 2015. And uh, according to that particular uh, proposal, um, uh, there should be about two to three candidates for uh, the general public, you know, to cast votes on, you know, and, and it's not just the, the election committee, you know, but in this particular case, it's uh, only the election committee. And as you know, uh, the election committee uh, has been uh, uh, selected by rather stringent uh, um, criteria uh, so that uh, you can almost be sure that uh, uh, most of the, uh, maybe a hundred percent of the of the members in the election committee, they. But Prof they, Professor Ho, they, if I if I could cut in right here, uh, political reform in 2015 okay. and come to that even before and after that has always been difficult because essentially. Uh, whatever yeah. Beijing backs, the people of Hong Kong will not back. And the people of Hong Kong back something, Beijing will not back something. Mr. Lee now, in the way he's being introduced and given his background largely in security, do you foresee an easier mm. or harder road ahead of him, given that the last four CEs of Hong Kong have not had an easy time at all? Well, um, as you can understand, at, at this time, uh, there's this uh, very... Uh, difficult situation that uh, China is uh, at, you know, uh, in, in terms of relations with, uh, with with America and and the West, so to speak, you know, because uh, the West is all is almost all aligned, you know, with with with, um, with the United States. So at this juncture, I think um, 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 Xi Jinping is certainly uh, very concerned that you know if there should be any slip, that could be big problems, you know, so at this, uh, given the, the, the exigencies of the times, uh, I can understand why Beijing just doesn't want to take any chance at all. But having said that, I would still think that it would have been possible, you know, for, for someone strong to take care of the secur uh, security bureau, you know, secretary for security, you know, and uh, Beijing can, can just make sure that, uh, that the secretary for security, you know, can, uh, can really take charge of uh, national security issues, you know. Well, and, that's it, uh, Professor Ho. And, uh, uh, yeah, Hong Kong. Kong. Much, better, much, much better. Yeah, Xi Jinping might feel more reassured yes. now because Hong Kong now is not Hong Kong of 2003. It come to the Hong Kong of 2014. Hong Kong now has a national security mm. law and uh, there have been, uh, there's right. been a loss right. in yeah. uh, sort of pro-democracy voices. So... Hong Kong now arguably might be easier for Mr. Lee to manage. Do you believe that? Yes. Yes. Uh, I do think so, but uh, the international situation is much more complicated, though, you know, because uh, 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 um, 
Um, I don't think uh, in, at any time in, in, in history, you know, after the normalization of relations between America and uh, China uh, had taken place um, uh, back in seven, uh, uh, 1979, um, this is the time when relations are at the worst. So, so I think, uh, uh, you know, having um, uh, uh, um, that, you know, as the big concern, you know, because they're really, uh, you know, uh, Beijing is very much concerned about the Taiwan issue. I think that is the main issue. Uh, because uh, as far as uh, Xinjiang is concerned, Xinjiang is very much under control, and I don't think any, uh, you know, uh, complication is going to rise. You know, but uh, um, United States is bent on arming Taiwan, and uh, senior officials have been visiting Taiwan, and uh, so that is something that uh, is really m very much a, a, a big concern. You know, and. Uh, uh, if something serious happens, and uh, um, so the exigencies have to be taken care of by someone who is experienced. Okay, Prof. For a final question here: If U.S. is a is a primary okay. concern here, the appointment of Mr. Lee, assuming he wins this election, he's a man sanctioned by Washington in 2020 for his role in curtailing political freedoms under the national security law. Putting a man like this in charge of Hong Kong, red flag to the U.S. boat, don't you think? Uh, I don't think uh, that is something that uh, Beijing has any consideration at all, you know, because as far as Beijing is concerned, you know, these sanctions do not have any credibility at all in terms of, uh, um, 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 you know, what, what Beijing always refers to as the... Uh, the the um, international order, you know, that is under uh, the, the terms of multilateralism and, you know, the, according to the United Nations and so on, you know. So as far as that is concerned, uh, Beijing thinks that uh, is something that it can be disregarded altogether because all these sanctions are illegal in, in Beijing's eyes. Oh, thanks so much for all that. Professor Ho Lok Sang is director of the Pan Sutong Shanghai Hong Kong Economic Policy Research Institute at Lingnan University.